from on site the last day of the first international solidarity conference on the rights of climate mag migrants which is being organized in manila by rosa luxemburg stiftung foundation and today we are in conversation with lorenz gosta buten a left winger member of parliament from germany welcome lorenz and it seems you are the only member of parliament only mp present in this conference so that gives it a political face as well uh my first question is uh, what is the politics surrounding the displacement of uh, the large scale displacement of communities due to uh, man made as well as natural uh, climate uh, disasters and climate induced displacements well um in germany uh, we don't have this broad discussion about uh, this issue um because um when migrants um of climate causes um come to our country um many people um talk about them as um refugees for economic causes um and um asylum seekers um can come to germany because of political reasons but um not for economical um reasons uh, they say so um i think we have to uh, rethink it because um germany is um in history the fourth biggest polluter um of um carbon dioxide carbon dioxide um emissions and so um in germany uh we have the duty um to do against climate change but um also to care for the people who are affected of climate change Uh, so what brings you to this conference is it um, a sort of uh, your affiliation with the left party which has given you some different values and uh, what as a member of parliament do you think you can contribute to mitigate and help climate migrants because you are thinking differently from so many rest the rest the rest of uh, Uh, the dialogue which is going on in germany where they accept refugees and um, asylum seekers but climate migrants is something new to them yeah <laughs> as a member of the left party i'm a fond of immensely petori issues i'm um, um fond of um, social social justice and um also on international internationalism and so um as i um enter the parliament in 2017 uh i think um i have to learn i have to learn um how people in the in the global south think and how they act and how they organize and th so i am um, th thought it might be a good opportunity to come to this conference to learn because i'm um, always um when i um go to such a conference i learn i learn from you um what you do because i'm um, coming back i can tell uh, the people um how you think um how you live how you act and um, how you organize and uh, that might improve the knowledge um about um what climate change does to people in the global south and uh, that's my duty to bring it back um to germany and to talk about it even in my parliamentary speeches so um, what is the key learning from this conference for you and of course rosa luxemburg is situated this associate uh, uh, is a, is situated in germany uh, maybe that will or that has helped uh, shape your hone your values to some extent i do not know but what is the key learning from this conference well um i i learned that um the the people who um took part on this conference um have a great knowledge about uh, the effects of climate change about um climate um migration and climate justice and they are getting organized um here are so so many um organizations um which uh, work hard um for for years and um i think um you're not at the beginning you're um in, in the middle of the fight um for climate justice and it's um 
worth um, to continue this uh, fight. And as I said, um, my uh, duty as a left parliamentarian is bring this fight for climate justice into the heart of the beast, into the capitalist uh, center, which is um, also in Germany. Germany is uh, the world's uh, greatest exporter. Um, it um, brings um, goods all over the world and it brings weapons to all the world over the world. To every conflict there's a German weapon. If you have a conflict with arms, always be sure there are German weapons in it. So um, our wealth is based on the exploitation of the global south. So um, I will fight um, in my country as you fight um, in your countries. That's great to hear that. And while uh, after going back, uh, do you intend to at least try to get uh, some new laws where they uh, sort of uh, erase that divide between refugees and climate migrants who are uh, who want uh, to migrate because of climate reasons? Uh, do you intend to do that? Yeah, uh, we. Uh have a plan um, for climate and justice and one of the parts is um, to um, get um, to know climate migration and um, to have it um, in our law as a case um, why people um, flee their country so um, we have um, to to welcome um, these people who come um, here and not to say um, get back to your country even uh, if there's no country left or uh, the country has been flooded um, or um, there were droughts um, or so on or storms and uh, so we have to um, know the situation of uh, the refugees and we have to fight against climate change. We can't say um, stay um, home. We must fight climate change and we must welcome these refugees. Okay. Uh, what is your message for the other members of parliaments of other countries, not just Germany, but also those countries where people are being forced to migrate or where due to certain actions uh, there is a lot of climate change taking place. They are contributing in their own way, not just Germany that it is the fourth biggest polluter uh, emitter of uh, carbon dioxide, but otherwise for uh, politicians and those in power, what message do you have for them to mitigate climate migration? Well, it's it's not my um, duty um, to give them advices. Um, it's, uh, as it is, um, might be an act of neo-colonialism. It's it's not um, my my duty. But my message um, is um, uh, continue to work um, hard on this uh, issue. Um, fight corruption and um, take care for social justice because um, in Germany it's a case of social justice um, and even more it's uh, globally a case of social justice and in every land it's a case and we have uh, the rich classes and the poor classes and um, you have to fight injustice you have to stand up for equal rights okay. Thank you very much and you have brought us back to that uh, uh, the term which we use sometimes development justice which would you which would include climate justice social justice as you yeah. have been talking of economic justice yes. uh, thank you Lawrence uh, friends you were listening to Lawrence Costa Buten uh, and a member of parliament from Germany on site from the first solidarity conference on uh, on the rights of climate migrants organized by Luxembourg Rosa Stuttford, I always pronounce that incorrectly, Stifton Foundation based in Germany. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.